Hello. So this live stream here is about compressing essence. This live stream is about the goal of alchemy, about climbing the ladder, which is the spine, up and down. It's about Falun Gong, Falun Dafa. It's about integration. And it's about yourself, basically. So it's also about, um, I think he has no problem with mentioning him. It's about Kian. B Trubu is his account on Instagram. Uh, he's a client of me. He's a brother of me. And uh, he's a source of inspiration. And um, this is also why I think um, certain things basically come together in this live stream. And now I would like to talk about these things. So also, thank you, Kian, for inspiring me. Um, yes, yeah, so as most of you people know, I am a martial artist. So I do kickboxing, um, martial arts, movement since uh, 13 years now. So and I have a really, really um, teacher, which I'm humbling and which I'm very uh, grateful to to be in that kind of uh, construct. So, and all of the things I'm saying is about my experience. So it's it's of course connected to everything which I'm um, which I'm connected to but uh, it's about myself. So I'm not um, putting any kind of other people in here. Uh, this is everything that I'm talking about is about my own experience. So I'm just would like to share because I think it's valuable and I think it's, it's truthful. So um, yeah, the goal of alchemy. Now, this is also what I was trying to explain in my last live stream about fake spirituality and diet. Uh, which is about deity, because we are all God creators. We are all the uh, have a creational spark in ourselves that we can basically use in order to create our lives. So I'm not caring about any kind of number of um, subscribers, or I'm not caring about uh, any kind of likes. I'm speaking my truthful message, and I'm caring, and um, um, this is this is basically my only mission or goal to um, be inspirational and to just share and to give my advice. It doesn't have to resonate with you. Maybe it, it's resonating with you. Maybe you can pull something out of it. But um, I'm not actually expecting anything in receive to. Uh, if you have something in receive, it doesn't matter what it is, if it's just words or if it's kind of any material things, whatever, I, I can take it. Um, so, yeah, the goal of alchemy. People lose themselves basically in the diet realm. And people lose themselves in the climbing up of the ladder. People think now what is happening and occurring on the Instagram, on social media, that it's all about fasting. It's all about um, distilling yourself down. It's all about becoming more of the breatharian type version of yourself. It's all about climbing higher and higher and higher and losing your roots. And this is maybe good for times because it's helping you to see more of the realm and it's helping to see and open yourself up. And most people actually have to do that because they're because of the years they've been all in the denser realms. Um, they have no connection to the higher realms. So it's important to climb the ladder up. But then, for most people, right, what's happening right now here, they're staying here. They're staying up on this ladder and they'd be like, yes, now I'm here on the level 3000 and I'm on the highest chakra and I know everything better than every other human being and I'm better than everybody because I've purified my body and I, now I know everything. And everybody who's ingesting me is a total damn asshole and they have nothing to say and they have they are all dragged down and they have no experience to share with and they are not worth to listen to and they are not worth even sharing my time with. And this is very egotistical. Because the goal of alchemy 
is not, by far not, to distill yourself down to the Breatharian type and to stay there forever. If you like and choose to do it, so do it. It's your life. But it's not about that. Alchemy is not about climbing up the ladder and then staying on the golden path and be like, yes, now I know everything because I'm so pure. Alchemy, the goal of alchemy is the following. The goal of alchemy is to, to become a better human being. And most of these people who are now in this Breatharian type realm, they are becoming very narrow minded. They are closing themselves up. They are not opening their heart to people who are not able to maybe climb up the ladder. And I know what I'm talking about because I was there and I thought I knew everything better than everybody else. And I thought, I've done these things and I'm still doing that, but I'm integrating that. And I'm, if somebody offers me something, I can take it and I can work with it and let it be the most saltiest, that piece of me. It doesn't pull myself down and pulls me back from my journey, pulls me back from my perspective pulls me back from my mission i can still reach my hand out and i have an open eye to people where they are and i can climb down the ladder to the point where these people are adapt myself to them and then i can reach out my hand and i can ask them do you even like my help would you even like to have my help would you even like to climb up the ladder no? Yeah, so that's fine. Okay, so we can stay here. I have no problem with that because I have the blueprint. I know how to climb up the ladder. It's easy. Everybody has it. Everybody can drink the urine. Everybody can get a water distiller. Everybody can get more into the sun. Everybody can get into fasting. It's easy. It's just a question of your mind if you're able to do it. But then it's also a question of mind to drag yourself consciously down to move on and to break through the next barrier. Because life is moving like this. And maybe then it's going like this upwards or it's spiraling up. And this is what I call the compressing of essence. And you can compress essence once you've integrated certain things. And once you've learned certain things, then you can compress things down. But if you think it's all about climbing up the ladder and then staying on the level 3000 all the time. I mean, sure, if that's your perspective, then do it. But it's by far not my perspective. It would be kind of boring for me also. So I consciously climb the ladder down and it's connected to, of course, suffering, of course, to pain. But I would still suffer and have pain also when I would stay there on the level 3000. So what to do? I told this already. It's about pushing through and it's not connected to any kind of diet because your body is pushing through anyways. Even if you're a breatharian, what is the body doing? It's opening, contracting, opening, contracting, opening, contracting. Yeah, maybe we have to put in more air once we've ingested more density. Yeah, but then I have to learn to work with that. And I have to learn to push through that. It's maybe in part of martial arts also. It's about how much can you take? Can you take that? Can you work with that? Or is it holding back from your own mission, your own goal, where you would like to be? I take it, move on. I take a hit in the face, I don't care, move on. 
do I like the hidden face? No, of course not. I try to, you know, like keep my defense up. But once the, the hits are coming, I go through that. I break through that into the next layer, to the next phase to become a better human being, to become my Buddha nature. And in alchemy, for example, if you would then distill something down or if you would compress the essence, once we take a look into the elements, into fire, water, earth, air, and ether, once we get the essence from something, what is the essence? If we burn something down to the complete essence, what color is it? It's black. And it's very, very compressed. It's very, very small. And that's the essence of a certain type of thing that you've burned down. And that's basically the rest, the essence of the whole thing, which then, like a phoenix, can rise through the ashes into the mist again. And then maybe the phoenix dies again and gets reborn, dying, reborn, dying, reborn. And we can basically, if we have a time frame, we can extend that into the whole life. Be like, okay, this is my whole life. And in the end, I'm dying. Nobody really knows what's happening then. We all have some kind of ideas, but nobody really knows. Or we can boil that down into the complete single essence of the moment where we'd be like, this is life. This is death. Oh, I'm reborn again. Doesn't really matter. It's all the same anyways. And this is why if you get to really high phases or really high stages, it gets kind of cold over there because it seems like you're very cold hearted. But basically you're not because you just realize, hey, everything is the same. It doesn't matter. You, our Boris is running through everything and it's basically all the same. It's all the same. You're just not impressed by things. It's just like, yeah, that's how it is. I don't care. Let's move on. <laughs> Do I have an open heart? And I still know that shit is some kind of going really, really crazy in this realm. Of course, everybody knows how crazy this whole realm is. What is happening with all the slaughtering of animals, with all the people are not satisfied. People want to put more into their mouths. Yeah. That's normal human being behavior, actually. We are still all under these kind of circumstances. So we basically have to adapt and have to learn to work with that. It's not better. It's by far not better to be than like, these people are all so negative and all so bad that I have to distance myself from them. And I never, I never go to these people again. We still live on this system, everybody. So we have to learn to work with that together. And it's by far not an option to claim then like these people are the bad ones and these people are the good ones. So I only go to the good ones. That's separation mode. And this is why I also say the whole food thing is so interesting. It's separating people from each other. It's separating them. It's about these people are bad now because they are the carnivores and the carnivores are bad. The carnivores are the types of beings which are putting the whole system into a bad perspective. You see what I'm speaking about? Of course I know how crazy and completely dumb this whole thing is. But this would be separation. Do I have to ingest the meat all the time? No, by far not. But if it's getting offered to me, it doesn't drag myself down from my mission. I'm by far not a better human being if I'm only a breatharian type all the time and then I'm getting into a, a circle of people which are only eating, for example, fast food or meat. And I'd be like, yeah, you know what? I mean, like, you can fast and you can drink your urine and you can be, like, on my type of, like, level? <laughs> what do you know? 
I don't care about you. You don't do things as I do. Well, you're not so high as I am. So you don't basically deserve it to be here. Is that a better type of human being behavior? No. Definitely not. Definitely not. Then this is why I say the goal of alchemy is not is not to stay on the highest diet. Is it intelligent to be at that kind of rate which you are capable of taking, which I am capable of being there, which I am capable of distilling myself down to the highest level where I can be? Yes, definitely. Why? Because it opens yourself. It opens myself. So I can see as much as I can see. Some people maybe only can take it to the vegetarian level. And this is all they can do. And that's great. And so good, you know. Great. You've done that. Wow. Like, really. That's so good, man. You've done everything. That's, that's your highest version. Wonderful. Still have compassion for you. And even if somebody's like, hey, you know what? Maybe somebody is like a drug addict. And he's like, okay, now he's he or she is like capable of okay, cutting it back for a few days. Then he relapses. But hey, you were for a few days, you were staying out of it. You are staying on a higher perspective of yourself. Wow, that's wonderful. And so everybody is on their own way, on their own version, on their own capability. And it would be very, very selfish and very, very egotistic to say, well, everybody who's not able to take it to the highest path and to the highest diets and is not able to stay there all the time is not a good human being. And by far, I'm like, I'm really not impressed by things anymore. Like, much. I really try to like, you know, like stay in the balance. Of course, like I still have to purge my demons. I still have to work with my own shadows. I still have to work and integrate a lot of things and work on myself. But that's, you know, like that's where I know I have to focus on. And I have to make sacrifices and endure certain things, you know. Because maybe I'm just not capable of some things that other people are able to do. And that's okay for me, you know. Maybe I'm able to do certain things which other people can't do. And we are all in this together. So, and this is basically what I think the human potential is. Everybody has certain, certain values, certain parts to play in this game. And once we need a certain part, we can go there, can connect ourselves to that, and we empower ourselves together. Yeah. So, Kian, when you're watching this maybe later, um, thank you for your inspiration. Kian B. Tribu, you can check him out on Instagram. Uh, I think he has also has like... Uh, um, like the selling page is like selling, I don't know what, what it really was, like orgone or something, but uh, or like necklace, necklaces. I, 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 don't, I don't really know, like, but um, I, he's a really humble guy. I really like him. So thank you, brother, for inspiring me. Um, yeah, so the goal of alchemy and the essence is not. And like I said, this, these are my words. This is, this is my perspective. Maybe it's something totally different for you. But for, my, for me, the goal of alchemy is not to stay on a certain diet and to 
climb up the ladder to the most highs and stay there forever. The goal of alchemy for me is to become my best Buddha nature that I can be, which is then connected to, and this is what we will face in the next live streams, live streams, connected to Falun Gong, Falun Dafa. This is the main work of Falun Gong, Falun Dafa, the Tsuan Falun. And since I'm into that practice for a long time, and like I say, this is my, these are my words, so this is basically not explaining anything of the uh, Falun Gong or the, of the Falun, because I would put the words of the master Li Hongxi into different perspectives. So this is not what I am explaining, basically. I'm just stating my own experience. I'm not explaining uh, Falun Gong, Falun Dafa. But I would like to share and inspire with that. So what I was um, finding out, how to um, share... Falun Dafa, Falun Gong, without putting it into falsity, is that I'm going to read out of the Tsuan Falun, the English version, in the next live stream. And I'm just, I'm not commenting it, I'm just reading out of it. And um, then we can may maybe talk about maybe also something else. But just to be then inspiring, I'm just reading out of this book. So, yeah, this is what is going to happen in the future here. Um, to become my Buddha nature, to become and inspire you to maybe become your Buddha nature. <laughs> so, uh, Karen sent a star. Hello. Gurk, good evening, Jan. Good evening, Gurk. Um, yeah, so all of you people, thank you for listening. Thank you for inspiring and we see ourselves in the future. Truthfulness, compassion and tolerance.